been a couple days. Alright guys, so it's Saturday morning. Um, today and tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday are my last two days in the States. My last two training days. I have arms today, legs tomorrow. And then Liv, myself, and Ben fly to Italy on Monday morning. So I wanted to show you all what the last two days looked like between uh, training, packing, family time, and just kind of hanging out. That and uh, I didn't want to get too rusty at doing these. I had a lot of fun doing them in Dallas and got home and just needed some time to just recoup and not vlog everything. So props to those that vlog everything day in and day out. I needed a little break. But here I am. I'm back and I'm really excited to show you all uh, you know, these next two days. Um, we got some new pieces at the gym. Ben's coming up to train legs with me. You know, we have my daughter this weekend, so a lot of fun stuff for me this weekend. Looking forward to uh, just kind of showing y'all, showing y'all. But um, anyways, like I said, we were literally fresh out of bed. As uh, you can see, my main man, Tights, is about to hit the snooze button again. But I am about to get all of my morning stuff done. So gut drink, health supplements, and then get up to Rise Barbell for cardio and uh, morning check-ins to send to Ben. And then uh, Liv and Brooklyn are actually meeting me up at the gym to look at me. So it's always special to me when they show up. So I will see you all at Rise Barbell. All right, up and at him to the kitchen we go. And my wife is a boss, so she left my gut drinking health supplements out for me. Pretty cool. It's the little things in prep, man. Anyways. All right, I'm gonna get this in me, and I will see y'all at Rise Gym. Um, quick little random tidbit. If you aren't doing like a digestion drink in the morning, that's super low hanging fruit uh, for your bodybuilding. You know, at the bare minimum every morning, get you a shaker cup, put 15, 20 ounces of water in it, glutamine, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and uh, aloe, and then there's things that you can do beyond that, but if you do those, you're doing yourself a huge service in the morning, setting yourself up for success. So I'm gonna set myself up for success and I will see you all at Rise Barbell. Meal, meal point five in the house. Not meal one, it's, it's the meal before the meal. This will be taking the pills for you. It's like an everything to lose and nothing to win game. If I mess it up and y'all y'all see me puke on camera, that's not very good. But if I don't mess it up, it's kind of boring. So So I'm really not joking when I say this, even though it's gonna come across as a joke, and that is Something that's made a huge difference this prep is appreciating things as they come and being a little more in the moment. So, for example, the last four or five weeks I've really enjoyed the fact that I don't have to hold my breath and strain to put my socks and shoes on. As funny as that sounds, weighing 300 pounds this off season, it was hard. So. You know, little things like that. Just like to, you know, stop and smell the roses. Or stop and be able to talk through putting my shoes on. But, anyways, let's go do cardio. Probably, let's channel that, buddy. Come on, let's channel that. Mm-hmm, you can't be trusted. Let's go. Channel that. We love Halloween in this house. Good boy. I brought the goods. Green onions. Prep necessities. Who else is there? Uh, Be money. 
All right, so like I said, I'm about to head to the gym and do cardio. They're gonna meet me up there and take a look. All right, we're here. So highest cardio I got this prep was 45 in the morning, 30 at night. The 30 at night's always when a pregnant woman power walk to 40 or 35 in the morning has always been either bike or stairs. We moved to the bike and we to try to keep my legs a little fresher. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this knocked out and then get to posing. All right, morning cardio done and dusted. Got my girls waiting for me back at Rise Barbell. They're gonna watch the check-in slash help me with it, so let's get it. <laughs> hey guys. Like Setting this. the uh, Guinness World Records hula hooping today? I like it. No. Huh? Oh, y'all rolled a little bit? Mm -hmm. Nice. Brooklyn's been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but Liv's actually taking her first three or four classes this last week, so that's super cool to me. There it is, rolling around in the turf. Alright, let me get trunked up, see what we're working with. Let's pose. Just showing the gym off. Huh? Showing the gym off. Done and dusted on morning check-ins with family. So time to head home and eat and hang out. Dad needs a nap today. <laughs> All right, guys. Done and dusted on cooking breakfast. Um, <clears throat> talked with Ben. We're gonna run my baseline training diet today. Uh, it's arms, so don't need extra food. Tomorrow, legs, depending on the look, we might push a little extra food in. But yeah, like I said, arm day today, baseline training diet. Baseline training diet is 180 chicken, two whole eggs, 180 white rice, and then 100 grams of blueberries. So, gonna get this meal in me and then 
hang out with Brooklyn for a little bit and then get a nap in before I eat meal two before training. So, yeah, I'm going to get this down and then uh, I'll probably catch up with you off of that second meal. See ya. <clears throat> what are we doing today? We are seeing Jake and Andre. Seeing friends? What are we doing before that? Going to the gym. Yeah. What are you going to do at the gym? Tumbling gymnastics. Tumbling and gymnastics? Yeah. Maybe set up an ambush with the Nerf guns. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. I can practice my aiming for whenever I get in. Set up your little shooting range. Yeah. All right. Now tell everyone we'll see him at the gym. See ya. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is a wrap on shaving. I'm not going to bury all the shaving, but I did want to share this, and that is what do I use to shave. So body hair, can't recommend one blade enough. Uh, it gets as close as a razor without getting like the hair all the way under the skin. So if you're a guy like me who's not used to shaving, uh, you won't get a bunch of razor bumps and shit. So highly recommend one blade. That's what I shave my body with. Uh, you know, whenever I shave. And then I'm newly uh, christened to the bald, the bald crew, and uh, I found this. It's an Andis uh, Pro Foil Shaver, and uh, it's been doing a very good job for me. It gets as close as a razor doesn't nick me at all, and, uh, yeah, so, obviously not sponsored by Andis or One Blade, they just make good stuff, so I figured I'd share, uh, figured I'd share my experiences with y'all. Alright guys, so it is nap time, but, uh, aside from being able to make a funny joke at the end of this, I did want to talk to y'all about, uh, CPAPs and sleep apnea, um, Probably like two years ago, I was about ready to be done with bodybuilding, you know, from how tired I was and just how shitty I felt all day long. And I uh, thought it was just par for the course of how heavy I was getting and how hard I was training. But, uh, you know, I finally broke down and listened to those around me saying, go get a sleep study because everyone heard how bad I was snoring. And it turns out I had very bad sleep apnea. So to make a long story short, got a CPAP. And the first night that I slept with it, I slept like five hours and I felt more rested than... I ever possibly could have even sleeping like 12 without it. So ever since I've got it, I have not slept or taken a nap without it. Um, it has been a true game changer for me. So you bigger guys or anyone that snores really bad, I would highly encourage you to get a sleep study done. Um, you know, especially if you snore really bad and you're very lethargic and tired throughout the day. So yeah, and now on to my joke that I was looking forward to getting to make. Y'all want to see what peak performance looks like? Thought I could do it blindfolded. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what peak performance looks like. Alright guys, pre-workout meal time. Um, today's pre is the uh, baseline diet pre, like I said at the beginning of the day. So it is going to be uh, 240 grams of mahi with 300 grams of rice and 10 grams of ghee butter. Um, in addition to that, we'll do 30 grams of dates, and then I'll drive to the gym and show y'all uh, what goes into the pre and intra. So I'm going to wolf this down and then go meet Roy up at the gym for uh, my last arm day on U.S. soil. All right, and we are off to the gym. Um, like I said, today's arms going to be training at La Brada with Roy. Um, yeah, it's going to be a standard arm session, one that you've been seeing me do all year long. And then uh, we'll pose three rounds at the end, uh, 15 seconds of pose. And then I will take a check in and send it off to bed. And that will be uh, done and dusted on training time. So, got my post packed with me, eat that at the gym right when we finish up. 
head home and enjoy the family. But like I said, whenever we get to the gym, I will uh, head to the kitchen and show you all what pre and intro looks like. I'll see you there. <laughs> Watch this shit. So awesome. <laughs> I love catching that with Brooklyn. The dude's pretty awesome about always buzzing it for us. I'm sure it's a different guy every time, but they're all good sports about it. Never too old to uh, get a train to long catch you. All right, let's do the damn thing. We made it to La Brada. Liv and Roy and everyone is here. It is time to do what the door says. Yo, y'all always keep it so dark in here. It's like a cave. So, man, ask, ask him the question you just asked me about the documentary. All right, let's make some pre's and intros. So, pre today is going to be a massive ass heaping scoop for the Pro Series Pump. It is stim free, which I absolutely love right now. I'm trying to minimize my stimulant intake. So, big heaping scoop of that. If you haven't tried this, I highly encourage you to at least check it out. Uh, it is very, 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 very just kitchen sink esque. It's got like everything you'd ever want for a pump in it and clinically dosed. So, if you haven't checked this out, check it out. Um, so, in addition to that, we're going to do some liquid glycerol. The one I'm using today is Hani's uh, EVPAQ. Really been enjoying uh, some glycerol in my pre-workout. I feel like it really you know, drives a pump whenever there's not a ton of carbs and glycogen to have a pump from. So heaping scoop of pump some uh, and some glycerol in the pre. And then intra is going to be 25 grams of highly branched cyclic dextrin. Uh, Pro Series or Labrata currently doesn't make it, so I'm actually using Hostel CDX. Uh, this is the unflavored one. I know they offer it in flavored as well, which is really nice for an intra. But like I said, trying to uh, minimize artificials and everything. Right now. So unflavored CDX. And then another product that we don't make that I've absolutely really been enjoying is Evagen's new hydration. Uh, basically, it is just electrolytes with a little bit of taurine and a little bit of nootropics. So really good for around training time. This is the lemon-lime version. And uh, between the cyclic dextrin and this, it actually almost tastes like a full sugar like Powerade to me. Because you get like that slick mouth feel from the CDX and then... They did a good job flavoring the electrolyte product. So 20 grams of carbs and some electrolytes intra. Heaping scoop of pump and glycerol for pre. I'm going to take this to the dome and then we'll go do some bodybuilding yoga and get on with arms. Boom. Brooklyn shooting range. All right, guys, we are all bodybuilding yoga up as loose and as uh, goose, as loose and as goose, as loosey goosey as they're going to get. And it's time to train some damn arms. So, uh, like I said on the ride here, going to be a standard session. We're going to do the JM presses. From there, we're going to move on to the cuff uh, extensions, but we're going to be doing that as under a new free motion functional trainer. So, it be my first time using that piece today. Super excited for that. And then from there, we'll move on to a dumbbell preacher. And then finish up with step forward cable curl on that free motion piece again. So get to use it twice today. Can you get warm? Show all the top sets as always.
Come on. Let's go. Again. Okay. Let's go. Edward. Let's go. You got this. Alright guys, so three working sets of the JM press. Uh, the first two, you know, hard straight sets aiming to fail somewhere between 8 and 12. That last one, definite reduction in the weight aiming to, uh, you know, get somewhere around 15 and spending a little more time in the stretch and uh, be eccentric. So, moving on from there to a cuff tricep extension like Roy is doing here. And so we will, uh, Yeah, so he has had his warm-up touches, I just had my warm-up touches, so uh, next set will be full send.
Still move. Got this. Let's go. Slammed into the wall. If you look really closely. <laughs> you have no idea how much you betrayed Hunter for that shit. And this is supposed to be your friend that he invites in his fucking home and around his family and you do some shit like that. All right, guys, so that is a wrap on arms stuff. Finishing cranking out some abs right now, and then I'll hop in trunks to post some rounds. Um, and I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but you know, very standard arm session. Three working sets on the JM press, uh, three working sets on the cuff extension, the first two being bilateral, the last one being unilateral. Uh, from there, we went to Dumbbell Preacher, did two good working sets of dumbbell preacher. From there we went and did step forward cable curls, two good working sets there. And then finished up with just a uh, burnout with dumbbells and basically did like five on one arm, five on the other. And went back and forth doing fives until I couldn't hit fives. And then did threes, went back and forth until I couldn't hit threes. And then just did singles until I couldn't pick my arms up anymore and had two reps arms. So anyways. Uh, I'm going to finish up the abs, like I said, getting trunks, pose, and then show y'all what post-workout is. It's my favorite meal of the day right now. Spring break. Baby sludge. Sweet baby sludge. <laughs> anyway, see y'all in a second.
Done posing. It's post workout time. Like I said, favorite meal of the day right now. So, post workout is going to be 100 grams of cream or ice and then 60 grams of whey isolate. Trying a pretty cool combo today. Oh, uh, Roy's got the peanut butter protein. So, as soon as he's done with that, I'll show you that. But today we are trying uh, Elevate's creamy rice, the peanut butter cup flavor with the chocolate peanut butter hydra. So I'm hoping this tastes like a big bowl of Reese's, or at least that's what I want to tell myself it tastes like. But anyways, so 100 grams cream of rice, 60 grams of isolate, and then we're gonna do 20 grams of nut butter, and then 30 grams of dates. So that'll be post, that will be meal three on the day. So we have three left. Uh, meal four will have carbs with it, and then five and six are just protein and fats. So. Uh, I will definitely show you all those meals as well, and I think uh, we're all about to head back to the house. Me, Roy, and Chloe meet live in Brooklyn there, and watch a kids movie, which is like one of my favorite pastimes in the world, regardless of if I have children or not. I had seen like every animated movie that ever came out before Brooklyn was born, and I have kept that streak going after she was born. So, especially now in prep, hour and a half long movies with uh, not intense storylines are the way to go, because... If I have to pay attention too hard, my ass is falling asleep. So, I'm gonna eat this and I will see y'all at home. All right, that is, as they like to say, a wrap on today at the gym. Lights are off, we are going home. So uh, I think the plan is we're all gonna head back to my house. Uh, obviously I have Brooklyn this weekend, so I think uh, Roy and Chloe are gonna watch a kids movie with uh, Liv and Brooklyn and I and then head home. So, I'll see y'all at home. And we are home and chilling. Yo! Hey guys. You know, just living the dream, done with arms. See a swimming dog. You want to see me try? You pole vaulting? Let's see you pole vault. I'm trying to touch the white. That way? No. Okay, ready? Alright, go for it. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that's not going to work. Good morning, YouTube. Alright guys, so in a true hunter fashion, I slept through my alarm clock pretty good this morning, so I rolled out of bed and did a fire drill. Um, just finished up cardio. It's a leg day today, so we only did 20 minutes. Uh, and then got a check-in for Ben, and uh, I'll upload that to him and fire it off to him during breakfast. But I'm on my way back to the house. Uh, luckily for me, Liv did not have any clients or anything this morning, so she was actually able to help me out with meal one, so that should be ready to rock and roll when I get home, and then I actually have Ryan Hendricks, uh, one of my massage therapists at the house, to go through me uh, for the last time before I leave, so after today it will be self-therapy with the lacrosse balls and the massage gun and stuff, and Ben's there, and Ben's pretty good at, you know, stepping on knots and stuff, we do bro yoga, so anyways, looking forward to showing y'all today, um, Meal one's the standard baseline training diet meal, 180 rice, 180 chicken, so I'm not going to show that to y'all, but uh, training legs a little later, so training on three meals, and then depending on the look, Ben will probably put some food into at least the pre-training meal, so I will tell y'all uh, what he says once I know it, but I'll see y'all uh, at the house, you know, like I said, wolf that meal down, then hop on the table and get my last massage of this prep. All right, so off of the table, uh, Ryan went through me for a good, like, almost two hours. Uh, didn't grab any B-roll, to be honest with you. I fell asleep pretty much immediately the second started working on me. Still recovering from the massage coma. But anyways, uh, while I was on the table, Ben sent across today's setup. And uh, as I said and likely expected, there is going to be a good bump in food today. So... This meal is a hundred and 
60 grams of chicken, 300 grams of rice, and then uh, 50 grams of avocado. So a good little bump in this one, and then the next two meals, which are like pre and post, will be 200 gram bowl of cream of rice, <laughs> and then a 100 gram highly branched cyclic dextrin intra. So a lot of carbs incoming, and I will put them to use because it's leg day. So gonna get this in me, and then uh, as funny as it sounds, I'm gonna shave my legs, <laughs> and then uh, probably get a little nap in before pre-workout meal. So yeah. All right, so Ben just got here, which means it's time for pre. Kind of got started on it already. Um, this is like full blown, deep into prep kind of stuff. But this is 200 grams of chocolate cream of rice with 160 grams of fish. And I'm eating the cream of rice and fish together and it is absolutely delicious. So we're both gonna eat and then we're gonna head up to Labrada for what will be my last Training session on U.S. soil, which is wild to say out loud. Going to be legs, of course. Universe, universe dictates. See you all there. All right, guys, look who I found. So Ben and I are about to go knock out legs at Labrada Gym and then come home and pack to go to Italy, which is crazy to say out loud. So definitely going to show you the session. Uh, you know, there won't be like any like super crazy awesome full sandy sunsets today, but we'll definitely get some work in and uh, expecting a pretty cool look today with the food that he gave me. So, see you at the gym. All right, it's leg day. All rolled out. Roy's all rolled out. Ben's all rolled out. Um, as far as the session goes today, it's gonna be very similar exercise selection wise, but uh, you know, being seven days out, we are. Uh, Severely backing off my intensity and volume a little bit. We'll still do a little bit more volume than I normally do, but stay away from failure today Last leg session uh, That one's up on gasps YouTube and mine. I literally was sore for like nine days after it so Trying to avoid that today as much fun as it sounds like doing that with the boys It's not gonna be conducive to doing well next Sunday So we're gonna do what we need to do to set ourselves up for success next Sunday in Italy. Is this child labor, or is it a fun father-daughter activity? Nice antennas, bro.
Alright guys, just kind of kept my head down and worked this session. Um, having fun. Three working sets on the uh, seated hamstring curl. Three working sets on the leg extension, but did like 15 to 20 on the touches too. So the touches were not just like purely warm up, they were a little difficult. And came over to the leg press, hit uh, two hard sets on the leg press. And now we're gonna finish up with some calves. Uh, we're not gonna lunge, we're not doing a second compound. Uh, like I said, Ben's feeding me today and we're still a little flat and, uh, and it's time to freshen the look up and uh, get ready to perform, not annihilate legs as much as I wish we could have annihilated legs today. <laughs> so there'll be plenty of time for that. We'll finish up calves and then uh, those rounds for Ben. All right, that's the wrap on Houston. Legs is done and dusted. Started it with the people I finished it with, and it is time to fly. All right, we are home from the gym. Post is in us, and we are getting ready to leave the house for more than two hours. So that means. Liz is chopping Working away at my, my chicken, getting a forearm workout in. She's got the next meal right there. That's 300 grams of fish, and, or th 240 fish, 300 rice. Keeping that high day going. Liz got all the fish cooked up for tomorrow for the flight. And then just kind of starting to get all packed up and whatnot. So it is 9 o'clock at night right now, and we get picked up at 5.30 in the morning, so under 12 hours by a long shot now, which is wild. So, um, yeah, I'll show you a little, little bit of random packing footage, and then this one's pretty much a wrap. Time to go to Italy. <laughs> 